Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Unity Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate footstep sounds when you are using blend trees. So now as you can see and hear in this demonstration when I walk in, I don't see any duplicate footstep sounds and even if I start running, you wouldn't hear that and also sprinting. So yeah, now we have got rid of duplicate footstep sounds and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay, let's get started. So at the moment when I walk, uh, my footstep sound is uh, play, playing but when I start to run, uh, you can hear duplicate footstep sounds. See? That's because uh, I am using a blend tree here for the walking and in this blend tree I have this event set up for the uh, for the walking and also for idle and also for sprinting. So in all three animations I have set up footstep sound events. So that's the reason. So when I'm in the middle of this blend space blend blend tree let's say we are here so in this case both walking animation and the running animation is being played uh, but the problem is uh, in both cases uh, from both animations we get animation events uh, so which event we should play so that's so we have to make sure that uh, footstep sound is played from only one animation okay so how to do that well let me open this character animation events script and here in this footstep function into this footstep function I'll add a parameter um, let's call it a float work speed now let's call it target work speed right so now here these are the target work speeds for each animation for idle it's zero and for working it's two for running it's five for fast run it's seven so i'm gonna give those values let me take a snip of this so that i can put the required values okay now i'll select Mm, what's this? Ah, that's all right. I'll select running animation. So here and here, I can I can select both. And for the float parameter for running, it should be five. right now both has five both have five and for the working let me select both events and for the float parameter I'll give two and for f uh, fast run oh I selected fast run here okay okay so for the fast run it should be seven Right now, let's select working. Oh, wait a minute. How come this is seven? Hmm. 
now what about running ah, it's five and five for first run zero it should be seven seven and okay now let's select walk in again it should be two two all right let's check again five for running and for fast run it should be seven right all right everything is okay 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 now i get that value into this script so the working target working speed and so here we need to check what is the actual uh, work speed actual moment speed so to get that we need a reference to character moment script So let's get that and then mm -hmm. how to do this so we should play footstep sound from walking only if the actual Working speed is between let's say 0 0.5 to 2. Well, 0.5 to 3. How to do it? We need to get the closest value. Okay, let's get the speed actual speed from character moment velocity this returns a vector and we need to get the magnitude wait what's the function we have to use okay actor 3 character moment velocity let me check again okay we can get velocity velocity magnitude okay so this will return the actual speed of the character and then we need to identify the given target work speed is it what is the closest one so let's define a condition like this if target work speed is uh, less than 3 that means we should be in the walking stage according to our logic yeah 
if the target walk speed is less than 3 and then we should check for walking speed so if let's add another condition um, speed minus target walk speed now let's take it other way oh uh, no this is going to be complex let's do it uh, let's do it in another way let's define a function uh, private int uh, get month state it should not be a int it should be Yeah, get moment state. Let's just call it like that and let's give float speed. All right now Let's return if Speed is less than three No speed is less than 0.5 F return zero and well, let me duplicate this event if speed is less than three return one that means walking speed and if speed is uh, less than what's the other state this is working and this is running so this one is six okay less than six return two that means running and else well otherwise return three that means fast running or sprinting and now uh, we have to do this if get moment state get the moment state for target target walk speed and compare it with the moment state of the actual speed so use uh, this will be true if the actual speed and the target speed both in the same um, in the same uh, category so only if this condition is true play the audio so I'll put this to here like this and all right let's see what happens now oh we got a null reference exception that's because I forgot to set the character moment reference here right Okay, nothing happens. Why is that? Did I do something wrong? Oh, why is this minus part here? Okay, sorry. Okay, 
now let's start to run yeah now as you can see there is no duplicate okay so the problem is fixed and I'll stop this episode at this point so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges and yeah also I will release a source code update with this code with these scripts and everything basically the whole project so you can download it from here and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye